with a string length bigger than most baby grands and a soundboard that's just enormous. It has an incredible sound. We are so excited today to present the Kawai K800. We've talked about it in many of our videos. They just don't come around very often. Not too often. Are all. you excited to play I'm it? I'm thrilled. This is a great piano. Well, stick around. We're going to talk about all the great features of the K800 and what makes it the best large acoustic upright on the market. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in beautiful downtown San Antonio, Texas. I'm Patrick Marr. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channels, check out our other videos, sign up for notifications, leave us comments, like our videos, sign up for notifications. We really appreciate all the support and we really love to interact with you. Well, Ted, today we have it finally. We have the K800. It's, and it's massive. I, I, Big upright. It was funny because a lot of our piano moving crew is already out on deliveries. So we're starting a little later today in the day um, because we actually had to move this thing. In, into, I saw that. <laughs> we were maneuvering it between synthesizers and acoustic guitars and everything to make it into, into the marketing room. And, and here we have it behind us. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, 53 inches. Humongous, that's bigger than pretty much every upright that's that we see come piano. in here. Um, and 626 pounds. That's a heavy piano. That's it heavier is. than some of those grands we have. It's heavier than all of us in this room put together. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, a, it's an incredibly amazing sounding instrument. And we've been playing it a little bit this morning to get, to get ready for the video. You know, like warm up, make sure we have, have the chops ready to go. But what makes this piano so incredible? I'll tell you what. I know it's Kauai and they have their own marketing, but to me, this is an upright grand. It just, it really is an upright grand. If you have a grand piano that has the same kind of size soundboard and at least the string length that you have in here, you're looking at it at least a five and a half foot. Yeah, if piano, not larger, yeah. If not larger. And this has the Sustenuto pedal like you find on a top of the line professional grands. Mm -hmm. And then you also have the practice mute because a big piano like that, yeah. you want to voice it down. It's you know? interesting because the practice mute is, is it's almost like a clutch that you pull out um, underneath the piano. Um, and, and we've seen this in different uprights and different grands where they're trying to activate like a silent system. Um, but on this one, it's actually, it's engaging the felt to drop down. And so you can voice it if you have this piano in your home, if it's in a room, it needs to be, you know, that giant sound. You don't have sound. to play it at full volume all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's pretty incredible. Like you said, the Sustenuto pedal in itself, I can't even imagine, like, the technology to make it work in an upright piano. I know, it's odd. Um, it's... And you just don't see it. Like, I, I on, as far as, this isn't a mass-produced piano, but Kawhi, Yamaha, these bigger piano brands that will make enough pianos for the United States and for the, the rest of the world, um, you just don't see pianos this big with this many features. It's hard to find. In upright form. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find the equivalent of this. And I think in Yamaha, it's like the YUS5. And even then, they're not even apples to apples. This is much heavier, bigger. Um, it's got an inch bigger on it. Um, the string length on it is over 50 inches on the, the number one string. It's 50.4 inches, about 1280 uh, uh, millimeters. Um, and so. Just an incredibly large instrument and beautifully designed. You get uh, the grand uh, hard finish uh, the, to hold your music, the sheet, mm -hmm. like the, the music rest. It's the grand style, so, you know, angled right there in the front. We'll show you guys some cool pictures of that. Um, but just really cool features. It has that Millennium 3 action um, that's going to be consistent from the K200 all the way up to the K800. Um, just a bigger action plays so smoothly, you're going to see the carbon fiber ABS in that action as well. Uh, this one and the K500 have the Neotex key surfaces. So they're, the tops. Yeah. And so it's their upgraded. So not even, you know, you spend a lot of money on a K300, K400, K200. Uh, they don't even introduce the same. This, this key, right. The, the Neotex doesn't even get introduced until you move up to the K500 and the K800. Um, it's same with the grand pianos. It doesn't get introduced until farther into the line. Um, and just it's a great feeling. It, it's it their top of the line touch. It absorbs moisture off your fingertips. Mm -hmm. It feels like just, it, it's, it's very, you can tell it's upgraded. Um, the tone on this piano is the one thing that um, I, I really like because it has that, I mean, it's got a gigantic soundboard. Mm -hmm. uh, a five and a half foot piano, if you bought the same, you looked at the same thing, 
we'll have probably at least three to four hundred um, square inches less of soundboard oh, yeah. speaking material because this is almost big, like per, like a big square yeah. in, a, in a pianos, the pianos. The grand, the grand piano is, is cut. So they're it's cutting it like, away, yeah. They're cutting part of it off. But on here, it really generates the tone. And, and in fact, they, they put extra um, support posts in the back and then also those, I think they call them contour bars that, yeah. are, that are in the back so that all of the vibration from the soundboard goes right back into the, the frame and the soundboard so that there's always these... It's, it's, yeah, it's, and I think Kawhi thinks of it as like, how do we control the energy of this giant unit? Um, if you're familiar with how the, how the, how the tone works on, a, on an instrument, um, acoustic instrument, a lot of time it's the string gets struck right. by something, in this case hammers, and then the sound gets picked up by the soundboard, and that's going to be uh, your acoustic resonance. And how do you control, if you wanted that to sustain for longer, if you want that to really take advantage of how big this soundboard is, how do you control that with something that's sturdy? So they have six back posts. I think competitions, five or less. Um, on, on entry line K100 series, it's four back posts. Um, two contour bars that are, are working uh, against the ribs, basically, and, and keeps that sound energy going back and forth, really sustaining for a lot right. longer. And, and I'm super excited to hear it because we're gonna we're gonna hit some notes and just let it sustain, just sustain is um, while while it's mic'd up. And it's just it keeps going, it keeps giving. And like you said, it's bigger than a lot of grand pianos. That sound uh, area, you know, it's, it's the sound surface. Of you the do a little algebra, board. and you're like, wait, this is bigger than the the cutaway grand piano. Um, but not only that, on the inside, on, on the, the, the manufacturing side of making it a great piano, duplex scaling. Um, Which you don't normally find on, on uprights. You don't find that scaling. on, yeah, the K500 has, uh, I think it's, it's limited to like the base section. Um, and then on competition, you just don't see duplex scaling in an upright. That's on a larger grand. Um, also A-graphs. Mm -hmm. um, and so A-graphs aren't necessarily a... Uh, a feature that says this is a better piano. Like you can put A-graphs on it. Any, any manufacturer would be like, oh, we're gonna put A-graphs on here. But just that attention to detail and say, we're gonna add this extra feature. Um, and the benefit of A-graphs is the string's gonna be in its place. All the time, the All perfect the time. alignment. Uh, perfect alignment. It, it, you were explaining it to me earlier, kind of thinking of it as a, as a guitar nut. Well, yeah, and then some of the things, if you notice, if you ever looked at those smaller spinet pianos up in the, in the treble section, you'll notice the three strings, some of them, they'll be off They'll start moving, they start over. moving, they slide, and it's because they don't actually put the highest grade felt. There's no graphs in it, but on here, you have that, that Royal George felt, oh, yeah. which is the, the top of the line felt that's made for piano manufacturing. I mean, they use that in other it's, top name brand pianos. Yeah, it's, it's a UK company, jo uh, Royal George felt, and they use that on the hammers and on, on a... Uh, well, on the uh, sustain. Oh, yeah, on the sustain the, 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 um, and so we have double felted mahogany hammers too. Um, just it's their top of their line. As when you go down the specs, you're reading it, and you're like, wow, they really kind of turned it up at every point along the way. Um, and so we're really excited to play it for you guys. We're not going to talk too much more about it, um, but let's see what it sounds like. Ted's really excited. I'm excited. Speak for itself. Yeah. And so let's hear the K800 in all its glory, 53 inches. Let's hear it.
Well, Patrick, what did you think of that note on that low A? When the lowest note on a piano sounds that solid, what does that tell you? I, I mean, it's incredible because it's not so much about the volume and how loud this thing can get, but the maturity of what the note sounds like. Oh, it's just... and, and it's cool because, it, I mean, you just you get a longer string, you get more sustain, you get more depth in that string, and no matter if you're playing it soft or playing it heavy, it, it really kind of starts to just keep going and, and rolling over, and you hear... The, you know, you just hear harmonics in it. You hear these beautiful things in it, and it kind of just keeps going. Well, I'm kind of partial to uprights, and particularly the larger ones. Mm -hmm. I grew up playing um, a lot of different uprights on the military base where I was at. I had a piano at home, but I used to spend a lot of time other locations on bass because a lot there's a lot of pianos there. at the time there were pianos in three or four different churches they had they'd have two or three different pianos so mm -hmm. I could go there and practice on all of them then they had the officers NCO club my favorite thing that I love about an upright piano is you're so close to the strings it's almost like playing a guitar because the strings are right here and on a piano they're right there on a grand piano they're laying out and they yeah. go six seven feet away they from you here they're right in front of you you can feel all that power coming off of the piano and and it's to me, it's a better version of stereo. Yeah. You know, to sit at a piano. And what? How does it compare to? Uh, you've spoken of the Baldwin Six Thousand before. Yeah, this is to me is almost like playing this, the same thing. That was one of my favorite pianos. Those were hard to find, mm -hmm. and they used to have some out at uh, the university years ago when I was out there. They had two of them, and they had that that hollow section, you know, on the yeah. front where it would and let it some of, of the sound come through. Breathes out. And those were those were great sounding pianos, and those I believe at the time were around fifty four inches. Yeah, or right. Something. Like and that's why I the, thought of this. Right was around like, the same size. They and so were it's the really closest thing I would say to to getting your hands on a. Uh, a pristine Baldwin 6000. Well, I wanted to do a video on them. Well, we had one here yeah, a few months ago. Yeah, and they go and quickly. It, it was gone go. within a week or so. Yeah. So usually the first person that comes in, plays it, takes it. It's, they're incredible. We'll leave you with this last story. We had um, a, a nice young lady come in here, um, and she was had a grand piano and was really sad because she was going to have to get rid of it for size constraints. And that's what I, what I think about when I think of this piano. People who are that advanced player who really want a mature instrument that is going to be their Absolutely. forever instrument. Um, and maybe they have a size constraint and they don't have room for a six and a half foot piano. Because that's basically the equivalent of, the, of this upright is, is when you're ready to take that step of getting it over a six foot grand, um, kind of the same move here. Um, but she was so sad that she was giving up her, her grand piano for size constraints and, um, and budget wasn't an issue for her. It was just she didn't have room for a grand piano. And she looked, she had told us she had been looking for over a year for something that would sound good for wow. her like an upright, she looked at digital, she looked at, you know, all, all the new technology saying we're gonna make, uh, you know, imaging and make it sound like a grand piano. She wasn't happy with any of it. She came to our store, we had a K800 there. She sat down and she just started crying. And it was, just, it was, it was so sweet because it was exactly what she was looking for. Um, and she didn't even know that it existed or that it had that potential. Um, and I think that's what's cool about this piano. Um, That's an emotional moment to discover this thing when you didn't know it existed. Yeah, you just and, walk in, wow, and get to play it. And it's just, it's so powerful sounding. It's so mature, and it's, and it's for that advanced, it, more than immediate, uh, intermediate player um, who's looking for a forever instrument and only has room for, for an upright or enjoys it right. like you do. Yeah. Um, well, thank you guys for watching. We were really excited about this video, the K800. Let us know if you've ever played one or if you have one and um, what your experiences are with it. It is just an incredible, incredible instrument, um, the K800 from Kauai. This is Ted Barcelo. I'm Patrick Marr. You can find us online at alamomusic.com where we have a chat agent available. If you have any questions about the K800 or any of the Kauai products, we do carry all of them. And hopefully we can ha answer any questions and help you guys out. Thank you guys for watching.